breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The people of Delta State cry out. They have innocent men. As Nigerian army declares that they have gotten three suspects arrested, taken to army headquarters in Asaba. The people cry out that they have innocent young men. We all, we've all been hearing of what's been going on in Delta State where apparently, in quote and unquote, the military went there for peacekeeping. Yes, peacekeeping turned to, um, you know, uh, soldiers, um, heads and uh, leads losing their lives. And they descended hard and long on the community where lives and properties were destroyed. Everybody began to wonder, you know, what's going on? Because again, the presidency gave them a go ahead that they should go on the, they should take on the community, destroy as many lives as possible. And everybody began to wonder if this is, you know, the, the, the president of this country. In fact, Omoyele Shiwari said he's disappointed in, in Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. To mention but a few things are the way they are. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as the people of Delta State cries out. It's all a lie. They have innocent men. Delta Deltans cry out over Ami's, over Ami's response that they've got three suspects arrested, taken to Ami headquarters in Asaba. No fewer than three of the suspects who apparently killed 17 officers and men of the 181 Battalion Nigerian Army in Delta State last Thursday have been arrested, according to the Nigerian army. However, the people of Delta State, especially those of this community, says the army have the wrong men. These are youth leaders who have been representing the people for a long time. And in order to seek vengeance at all costs, the army is going about saying that they have caught three people. These are innocent people being held unnecessarily. They are no, they are no militants. The true militants have not been seen. The true militants are still very far away. They are nowhere near our community. The development came as Senate or Se Senate President Godwin Akbabio on Tuesday said whoever was responsible for the killings of the military personnel will be brought to book. The Akwabio spoke on a day the governor of Delta State Sheriff Obavire briefed President Bola Metinobo on the issue at Atsu Rock, saying the state is managing the tension caused by the Kalens and that they won't be further attacks. This is even as the House of Representatives on Tuesday mandated the armed forces of Nigeria to conduct a thorough and widespread investigation into the circumstances that led to the gruesome killings of the military men. Daily Post gathered that the suspects were arrested in Port Harcourt on Tuesday and moved to the Army headquarters in Asaba, where they are currently being held. Meanwhile, speaking during the debate on two motion, Senator Abdulaziz Yaradu of Kastina State and Edu of an Edu of Delta Central spoke on the killing. Senator Akwabio said, I don't want you to conclude. I do not believe that these people are from Niger Delta because we respect men and women in uniform. I'm saying your additional prayers should be carried out, should be to carry out a thorough investigations to know whether these people are machineries from outside Delta State who came to conduct such crime in Niger Delta. The true people who carry out these plans, they know themselves. They may be people from other regions. And God in Akwabio, for the first time in a long time, a, a real word is coming from your mouth. I'm surprised. I'm impressed. So God in Akwabio, you know, was speaking and saying, this may be mach machineries who has been brought into Delta states to cause this, you know, this very tension, which possibly, with all sense of direction, could possibly be truth. It could be the truth, you know. Uh, we saw that, according to the, all the information, you know, um, uh, people, uh, soldiers went for peacekeeping talk, and then peacekeeping talk turned to talk keeping peace, and it turned something else, you know. So whether we like it or not, there is, you know, this nation we need, you know, we need honest and sincere men in position of authorities. 
A lot of things we naturally gravitate towards the center and do well if we will be honest and sincere. You know, the lies being paraded, the things being said, these are all clear indications that Nigeria will not move forward if we continue to lie and put these things on ourselves. There is just too much going on, just too much going on as a nation, as a people. If we continue to pretend, okay, can you imagine that the president of a nation in the heat of an issue that has just occurred is saying they should go to that place and comb the place. And in case you are not aware, men, women, children, young, old, lost their lives. And you say that these leaders do not have blood in their hands. They may, they may tell their conscience, they may tell themselves that. But the truth of the matter is you and I know that most of these people, their hands are all soiled, okay? Their hands are all soiled. And until God helps us, we don't know how far we're going to be able to come through with all of this and, you know, make it worthwhile and tell ourselves the truth. We cannot continue to, you know, jeopardize the truth. We must continue to tell and make sure that at the end of the day, everyone who needs to be, who needs to be told you know, what it is should do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that you know we rise up and we, we we take the bull by the horn you know calling a spade a spade it is what it is okay so nigerians have you seen for yourself that indeed we cannot continue to lie to ourselves we can't we can't there is just too much going on and every one of us must do everything in our hands and our powers to change the course of this nation okay and bring this nation right in the right direction if we if we if we don't if we want to really see you know and know exactly what the truth is it's about time it's about time well my people what do you think nigeria is already going through a lot and um the prop you know maybe we're not ready for the truth but if we are really ready to to know what the truth is it is now or never we all have to begin to, you know, stand up for what is right, stand up for what is true, and begin to ensure that we we we, we speak, you know, we, we speak in the right direction. We do what is right, what is needed to be able to call this nation. And you know, those who have been trying to destroy it in every way must be brought to book. We don't even know if it's the if it is the bokus that have gone to do this so that you know to bring trouble in Delta State. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.